Hey guys, how you going? Aussie Stunt Man, Minecraft Friends, depends on what you know me as, doing a couple of uh, Cinema 4D tutorials here for Minecraft, just helping people with the basic things, how to make your Minecraft Friends look good, or basically how to do the things, simple things, if you don't know how to do it. These are the videos that are going to show you how to do it. No question is too stupid, like I said in the other video. Everybody has asked the stupid questions, no matter how good they are in Cinema 4D or animations, or how big they're on YouTube if they've used Cinema 4D. They've asked the stupid question, or basically they've Googled it and just don't want to ask anybody, and they'll deny anything about it <laughs> whatsoever. Like KGB. Basically, here, if you know, if you do a render out, or oh, what settings we'll put this at, just some basic thing going on, say. And we'll check this out, and you see Steve will look. I know you look kind of good, but there's like not much, you know, like lighting wise. You want like something more. I don't know, just for this video, we'll get rid of this so it comes a bit faster. Sorry, but you'll leave it on there. See, you know, Steve, it looks kind of basic. His look looks really nice because the paid rig does look a lot better than uh, the free one. But you want to like give him a bit of like better lighting and stuff like looks more like three D and realistic. So we'll give him a bit of make him look like he's doing something. Look, look at me! Like I always like not really have these really not good stances. I've got to work on my stances. They're not the best, but I'm getting there. Make this arm go back. Go up. Look at this. Look at you at the front. Right here, right there. Bring you back out to the side. Give him a tool. Steve's a tool. Right, get rid of the visual select. Oh, we're down here actually. Use data. See, with the paid one, you do actually get all the items included, which is really awesome. So come down here. We'll give him a pickaxe. Where is he? Pickaxe left. I oh, know this always happens to me. I'm not sure why. It doesn't go away. Visual selector. We'll like get rid of a second. I have to go come down here and like load this all the time. I'm not really sure why. Where's my items at? Tools right here. We'll slow this. Doesn't matter. See, it's coming up like this blank. But we go there and the items is there. See, textures. It's right there. I'm not sure what every time i got to do that. See, and it comes back and then it's right. So what we'll give him? We'll give him a diamond. Diamond is the girl's best friend. See here. And we'll just give you a quick example of what it looks like now. See. That. See. There's, there's no lighting on it. See, I mean, it looks light. If people aren't understand, understand, like you think with lighting, it makes it look lighter, but it actually makes it that realistic, and then the shadows effect and stuff as well. So basically, here, um, I'm not sure where I can't remember find this, but I did find this pack here. Where are we? Go back, and I see my items. And in here, I did find a lighting. I'm not sure how to make it myself. You can you can bag me in if you want. But I'm not sure. Items down to saves here. I did find this is all different buildings I show in other videos. But lighting file here. Bring the lighting over. And straight away you're like, Steve, what happened? He's all black. I can't see him. <laughs> but what happens is he's facing away from the sun. So basically what we want to do, we'll just get Steve. We'll just turn him around. Oh, but actually facing the wrong way. It's actually that way. There we go. That's the way direction of the sun. So we'll bring him this way. Well, I want to cast a shadow over him, so we'll keep spinning him around this way. No, not too far. There we go. See, we'll, we'll see if that worked there. But basically, now we've got the um, the sun in this lighting. You do have clouds come over. You do have the lighting, the sun, and the sky. Basically, the, everything you can change colors of it. Like if you've got the the sky here, the, see the background there. Use color, turn it on, and see it's white there. But if you wanted to have a different color, make it blue. Oh, like blue like that there. See, change color like that, and hit this again. You can see now we do have the shadow there now. I've actual sun and makes it look more realistic. Like I said, you do have the shadow of the pickaxe and the shadow and his eyes there, and everything makes it look more realistic. And the shadow from his arms and his legs. Going there, I'd reckon that does look make it a bit more realistic. Or I said it is a lot different from adding lights in, like a light like you can use a light like this. Where's this light? Bring the tool out here, bring it this way a little bit, make it a little bit more brighter in front of him. But thing is, the sun will still cast a shadow on top of Steve. So there we go. There, bring that. We'll try it again. See what it looks like. See there you go. Basically, it's still casting a shadow out on Steve. And now basically that little 
light there has ruined the effect basically on his face. Oops, I don't want to render that out yet now. Cancel that. Sorry, wrong button. Come back here. See, we do have lost the shadow on Steve's face a little bit there because the light there, but see the light is still coming onto his chest there. But okay, it looks a lot better. We'll get rid of that light. Just leave it with the sunlight there, and we'll go do the render test again. And see, I reckon it does look a lot better. But depending on like, that shadow just right across his chest doesn't look that flash. But like I said, the face there and his mouth and the eyes, it looks really nice for the shadow. Anyway, the, guys, there you go. That's basically how you can add lighting to uh, your Cinema 4D project or animation. If you are after that lighting file, I'll upload it to um, Mediafire. And I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to download it. Um, or hit me up on Twitter, I can give you a link. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this. Basically, how you can add lighting to your Minecraft little animation, dude. Basically, so if you want to get that um, shadow off him, we'll just quickly spin him around. Just before I end this video. Just get that sun off his... I mean, the, the pitchfork shadow off his chest. We'll hit that again. See what it looks like. There you go. Now the thing is on his arm there. And you can see his eyes and the mouth and look at the shadow casting there anyway guys hopefully this helped you with the lighting remember this lighting file will be in the description below where you can download it i'm not sure really where it's from or who made it if you know please give me a buzz and i'll add them in the description thanks for watching this guys and i'll see you later